Some of the advantages of using liquid membranes uh, are numerous, but to try and short circuit it, uh, they're flexible. Uh, this, is, this is a major part of it. They move and rake with the building. They are able to be uh, applied into areas which other sheet type membranes can't be. Uh, they can be terminated and bonded to the surface that you're putting them onto. Sheet membranes don't always allow that to happen. Uh, it's not really a competition between sheet and liquid, but I'm trying to give some of the advantages of using liquid, which is why we do use liquid membranes. Uh, liquid membranes also um, are quite quick when need be. If the weather conditions allow, we can do about 1,000 metres in a day, which is pretty substantial sort of coverage. Um, we're in, we're out, we get the job done, and it's uh, curing out pretty quickly with our instant set material. The, um, the bonding side of it is, is critical as far as waterproof membranes. Often other types of membranes will debond over a period, and then once they debond and start to leak, you can end up with a, uh, a uh, waterbed type effect, and the water leak might be some many metres away from where it actually comes into the building, which is a crucial part of it. Everybody might look for a leak in point A, but it's actually coming out in point B. Whereas liquid membranes are fully bonded to the surface, so if there's a leak, if someone does puncture the membrane somehow, the leak will be where the puncture is, so you can easily rectify it and uh, repair it in a flash. So that's a very, very good way to go about using liquid membranes.